Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mr. Gold. Today I am on the beta and I'm going to show you some new updates that they made to the talent tree. Now, from what I read, it is just the monk talent tree. They have not made anything to specific Brewmaster, Windwalker, or Mistweaver. So what that means is they made changes to this left-hand side of the talent tree uh, and nothing on the right-hand side. I'll link the patch notes, the beta patch notes in the description in case you want to see and read about it. So first of all, let's just talk about the changes. They've made extra connections. I, I, and this is the comparison right here. Um, they've also made a few changes to this left-hand side here. Um, and then they've changed... This isn't current on beta, by the way. They haven't done it. But the Vivacious Vivification, which was this talent right here, which makes Vivify Healing... Or not, no, this one. That makes Vivify Instant. And now it's a 10-second cooldown. I have been saying this since the beginning. I knew that they were going to change this because, like... Being able to spam Vivify was just too much. So they, it now has a 10 second cooldown for all specs. Again, this is the Monk Tree. So um, that's just how it is. I don't know if this makes it any less good. I don't think it's definitely not going to be good for Miss Weaver. I've been saying, I don't think, I wasn't even going to take this even if it was didn't have a cooldown. Um, maybe it's still good for Brewmaster and Windwalker. Kind of weave it into rotation. In PvP, it might be good. In case you pour it, you get the free instant Vivify and then you cast it. Um, maybe good for Brewmasters and PvE, but I think those are the only use cases for it. I don't think this talent's going to see much use next expel harm moved back to based on for all monks so just so you know this is actually on beta this is the old one and on wowhead this is the newer version so before with expel harm you had to spec into it here uh, all the way at the bottom here past four brew they just made a baseline now so they got rid of that in the talent tree over here and they just replaced it with strength i think just strength of spirit here yeah which increases the healing of expel harm and i think they added it as well to uh in the notes down here next we have heavy air replace with vigorous expulsion so that's here so this was heavy air i don't think they ever ever did anything with it i don't think so but what that means is over here they're replacing with vigorous expulsion which is uh making expel harm's healing increase by five percent and critical strike chance by 15 percent so it just increased healing to expel harm now that's baseline it might actually be worth it i don't know if expel harm is going to find much value in like pve but i know that in pvp it's actually i find expel harm a really really good spell to use so i think it's kind of good but i think overall maybe it's also good for brewmaster monks it might be good for windwalker monk self-healing too um as far as miss Weaver goes probably not that used in pve but i think overall you know it's, it ain't it's not that bad next we have strength of spirit increases the healing of expel harm up to, by up to 200 percent based on current max mana move to the class tree from brewmaster oh cool so i'm assuming strength of spirit is here so this is what it ex uh replaces ex ex expel harm so expel harm's healing is increased by up to 200 percent based on your missing health interesting i i wonder how this is going to affect mistweaver because right now with mistweaver when you soothing mist a target and use expel harm it heals both of you so i wonder if that healing is going to be split up i wonder if it's based on i guess it's based on my healing or my health so the lower health i have the more healing it does that's actually kind of good I like this for Mistweaver PvP. Really good for Windwalkers as well with like the inst especially if the crit and the uh, increased healing, you just have like more self healing. So Windwalkers, obviously Brewmasters are gonna like this too. But I'm just trying to think of it like through Mistweaver. I I'm really like this for Mistweaver PvP. It just gives us an extra heal. Essentially, it just gives us an extra heal, which is kind of nice. Next we have Profound Rebuttal increases the critical healing of Expel Harm by 50%. So it seems like they're making a lot more Expel Harm changes. And with the developer note, with Expel Harm, once again, baseline, we've taken the opportunity to offer improvements to the ability throughout the tree, which I don't mind. So for those of you who don't know what that is, it looks like they replaced Rollout, which during Roll, you're immune to Roots and Stairs, which to be fair, it's a legendary right now in... Shadowlands that nobody uses because it's really that bad and it looks like they replaced it with profound rebuttal which increases the critical strike in, in expel harm's critical healings increased by 50 percent so still a lot they're just buffing the healing of expel harm which is really really nice i mean it kind of is unfortunate that i still have to choose some chi wave and chi worth chi burst just to get here um oh i guess they added this connection right here so with elusive mist maybe it actually is worth it because you could just skip this i kind of like that a lot that's nice. Okay. I don't mind that now with the, this extra connection. So that's another good change. I like that they're buffing and like, I like that they're giving attention to expel harm because I feel like expel harm has just been like ignored <laughs> the entire expansion. So next up here, we have disable has been moved to row two. Paralysis has been moved to row three and paralysis rank two has moved to rank four. So what that is, is right here. 
Um, in the old tree, you had to take Tiger's Lust. You went to Paralysis. Move this over. And then you went to Paralysis at Disable here. That got moved. You take Tiger's Lust, and now you can go to Disable. Or you can go to Paralysis and get Paralysis Rank 2. So you do all this, and then you can go to Fort Brew. So it's really nice. I, I wish that they would make the same change to Essence Font and Life Cocoon, but it doesn't seem like they're going to do that. Um, so this is kind of nice. It's a nice change overall. I'm not, I'm not mad about this at all. I like it. I like it. Because there's going to be some matchups in PvP where you're not going to be able to choose Disable because you're playing as casters or something. Uh, but you obviously still need Paralysis. And this is just uh, really nice. Uh, I'm a fan of this. Uh, then we have White Tiger Statue damage has been reduced by 75%. Uh, White Tiger Statue is intended to be a solid contributor, but was doing a little too well in some situations. Yay, yay. Miss Reviews can't have good things. That's this right here. I've seen things post on Twitter saying that maybe they should, you know, target cap it so it can hit less people. That way, the single target damage is still good. Um, but it seems like they just nerfed it by 75%, which is really crazy. So... Unfortunately, probably not. I mean, maybe it's still good in Mythic Plus for Mistweavers. It probably still can be good for Windwalkers, but we're probably still just going to go straight to Statue. If we have any extra points, maybe it's, this is worth it for the extra damage, but I don't think it's going to be. I think that's it for the Monk Tree for now. Overall, I think the Monk Tree still needs some work. I think it's just this right here, this little cluster right here is a little awkward. Having to have four, like two spec into four brew twice is kind of awkward. And then obviously there's just awkward parts over here with the uh, Essence Font, Life Cocoon. Even down here, I feel like we have so many. I don't. I wish we had less, like, last nodes that we had to choose between. Kind of like three over here. I don't know how other classes are set up, but we just have a lot of choices down here. Overall, I, I'm not too angry about it. I'm not I'm not too upset. I think the tree's okay. I think this top half is really nice. I think it's a really cluster down here because they're trying to fit a lot into, like, a lot of different specs. So, and yeah, that is it for me. If you have any questions, of course, please let me know. If you want to see other videos on beta, let me know. And hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Hope you enjoy the video. See you later.